All right. Here we are. Um. morning. Welcome back to Quitting Weed, number 11. And uh, this is my video journal of a middle-aged starving artist. <laughs> of a middle-aged Caffeine addict, nicotine addict, drawing addict, guitar playing addict, music making addict. Am I addicted to playing piano yet? Probably not. I'm not good enough yet. <laughs> but what am I talking about? Who cares? Dear Diary, the contents of my consciousness as of late have been the role marijuana has played in my life, recovering from what, what I believe to be narcissistic abuse, coming out of the worst depression of my life surprising surprisingly I didn't see this coming that at 56 years old I'd have to go through the worst one I thought I had that behind me already <laughs> you don't know what's going to trigger it but when you get to the other side it is so sweet it is so nice to not be in the abyss anymore. Have you ever spent a dark night of the soul? If you know what that is, uh, and if you've gone through it yourself, then you are my brother or my sister. I can't explain what it is, but it's a real thing. An ego death, maybe. But it took 56 years for me to finally reach the bottom of the abyss and to have my own dark night of the soul and to die, but to be reborn. That's what a spiritual awakening is. I feel like I'm, you know, a week and a half in, not even that long. <laughs> I feel like I'm a few days into my, remember that scene where Bruce Wayne crawls out of the, that pit in like the second bad Batman no, no. Remember, is it Shawshank Redemption? When that guy tunnels through the poop <laughs> pipes and digs himself out of the ground and it's raining. If you spent a night, a uh, dark night of the soul, if you dared to enter the abyss and face down the demons... Satan himself, call it what you will. That's what depression is. I've heard it said, you can call depression whatever, I mean, call it Satan. And depression is, oh. Depression is pushing your face and head underwater. And you got to struggle and fight. 
It's no joke. You know, this morning, I started talking about Shanae O'Connor. I don't know what she did. But I fear she did the thing. And uh, it made me think. You know, how many people in our real lives have we lost that way? And have we ever considered it ourselves? If she did that thing, she wasn't able to uh, you know it's incredibly sad but I don't know I feel like I wanted to get on here and say that much there might be somebody out there who needs to hear it <clears throat> you can get through this it's gonna be okay Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, hey, everything's a okay. You ready to put a uh, I don't know some sweet guitar behind it? <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Show. 
And uh, let's call that song Way Da Hey Da Hey Da Ho. <laughs> we just wrote that. All right. I never meant to cause you any sorrow. Oh, oh, yes, please. I never meant to cause you any pain. Tell me about it. <laughs> I only wanted one time to see you laughing. You mean like this? <laughs> I only wanted to see you laughing in the purple rain.